Hello, my name is Dr. Kenneth Taylor. I am the director of the Hypertrophic Corneomyopathy Center at Piedmont. I would like to talk today about a new therapy available for some of our patients with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is a disease of the heart muscle, manifested by thickening of the heart and associated with increased function of the heart. In some patients with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, the thickened part of the heart is located right where the blood of the heart is exiting, and the increased function at this location limits blood flow out of the heart. This is called obstruction, and it is the cause of the murmur heard with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, and often the cause of many of the symptoms seen with this disease. This obstruction to blood flow results in a pressure gradient from inside of the heart to outside of the heart. We can measure this gradient with echocardiography, and we treat this with medications in an attempt to lower this gradient and thus improve symptoms. Typical medications for the obstructive form of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy include beta blockers and calcium channel blockers. Recently, a new class of medications designed to reduce obstruction and improve symptoms has been developed and approved by the FDA. This class of medications are called cardiac myosin inhibitors. To understand these new medications, one has to know a little bit about how the heart muscle works. Heart muscles are aligned next to each other in rows, and they produce force to contract the heart by making temporary connections with the muscle cells next to each other. These crosslinks are made up of a protein called myosin. Myosin crosslinks attach to adjacent muscle cells and pull the cells along each other to create force. The best analogy I have is to imagine a long rowboat or a crew boat with several rowers, each with a row in the water, pulling to move the boat along the water. In the normal heart, there are a set number of rowers and oars in the water at any one time. In hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, there are many more rowers and oars in the water, so the amount of energy generated is much larger, moving the boat with more force. In the real heart, this results in a more forceful contraction of the heart muscle. This new class of medications, cardiac myosin inhibitors, inhibits many of the cross-bridging myosin proteins, reducing the amount of force exerted by each heart cell on its neighbor. In the analogy, it would be like half of the rowers pulled their oars out of the water and did not use them, resulting in less force and less energy expended during each stroke. The result is less contraction of the heart, a lower gradient, and fewer symptoms. We have used this new medication for over a year now, and we have seen remarkable improvements in measured gradients by echo and marked improvements in patient symptoms. To be a candidate for this medication, patients have to have an elevated gradient as measured by echocardiography while taking traditional medications for hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and also have symptoms of the disease, such as shortness of breath with exertion. In clinical trials, these cardiac myosin inhibitors were found to reduce heart function in a small number of patients. So careful monitoring of heart function with regular echocardiograms is necessary. Testing is required every month for the first three months and then every three months thereafter. There are also some interactions with other medications so careful attention to these interactions is necessary. Finally, women of childbearing age cannot get pregnant on this medication, so careful attention to this is imperative. We look forward to speaking with you during our consultations when you come to our center, and we'll be happy to answer any of your questions. Thank you so much for your attention.